child or not, it is permissible to offer voluntary prayers, standing or sitting, and to stand and sit in the same rak'ah. It was narrated that Abdullah ibn Shaqiq said, I asked Aisha about the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and his voluntary prayers. She said, He used to pray four rak'ah in my house before the hur. Then he would go out and lead the people in prayer. Then he would come in and pray two rak'ah. He would lead the people in praying Maghrib. Then he would come in and pray two rak'ah. He would lead the people in praying Isha. Then he would enter my house and pray two rak'ah. He would pray nine rak'ah at night, including Witr. And he would pray for a long time at night, standing, and a long time at night, sitting. And if he recited while standing, he would bow and prostrate from a standing position. But if he recited while sitting, he would bow and prostrate from a sitting position. And when dawn broke, he would pray two rak'ah. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray for a long time at night. If he prayed standing, he would bow from a standing position. And if he prayed sitting, he would bow from a sitting position. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Shaqiq said, I became ill in Persia, and I used to pray sitting down. I asked Aisha about that, and she said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray for a long time at night, standing, and he mentioned the hadith. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Shaqiq al-Uqayli said, I asked Aisha about the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, at night. She said, he used to pray for a long time at night, standing, and for a long time at night, sitting. If he recited while standing, he would bow from a standing position, but if he recited while sitting, he would bow from a sitting position. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Shaqiq al-Uqayli said, We asked Aisha about the prayer of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. She said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray a great deal standing and sitting. If he started a prayer standing, he would bow from a standing position, and if he started a prayer sitting, he would bow from a sitting position. It was narrated that Aisha said, I did not see the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, reciting in any night prayer while sitting until he grew old. Then he would recite while sitting, and when there were thirty or forty verses left of the surah, he would stand up and recite them. Then he would bow. It was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to pray sitting, and he would recite while sitting. Then when there were about thirty or forty verses left of his recitation, he would stand up and recite while standing. Then he would bow, then prostrate, then he would do likewise in the second rak'ah. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, used to recite while sitting, then when he wanted to bow, he would stand up for as long as it takes a person to recite 40 verses. It was narrated that Al-Qamah bin Waqqas said, I said to Aisha, What did the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, do in the two rak'ah when he was sitting? She said, He used to recite in them. Then when he wanted to bow, he stood up and bowed. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Shaqiq said, I said to Aisha, Do the Prophet, peace be upon him, pray while sitting? She said, Yes, after the people made him old. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Shaqiq said, I said to Aisha, and he narrated something similar, as hadith number 1708, from the Prophet, peace be upon him. Aisha narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not die until many of his prayers were offered while sitting. It was narrated that Aisha said, When the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, grew old and heavy, most of his prayers were offered while sitting. It was narrated that Hafsa said, I did not see the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, offer any voluntary prayer while sitting until one year before his death, when he would offer his voluntary prayers sitting, and he would recite a surah at such a slow, measured pace that it would seem longer than another one which was longer. A similar report, as hadith number 1712, was narrated from Az-Zuhri, 
with this chain, except that they said one or two years before his death. It was narrated that Simak said, Shabir bin Samura told me that the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not die until he prayed sitting. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Amr said, I was told that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, A man's prayer offered sitting is half a prayer. I came to him and found him praying sitting. I put my hand on his head and he said, What is the matter with you? O Abdullah bin Amr, I said, O Messenger of Allah, I have been told that you said, A man's prayer offered sitting is half a prayer, but you are praying while sitting. He said, Yes, but I am not like any of you. It was narrated from Mansur with this chain, a similar hadith as hadith number 1715.